Hi guys. You say hi. 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 Okay. This is for you that don't know my little sister Sydney. Not so little anymore, but she's only 16 people. She may look different. <laughs> she may look older. Contrary to your belief, she's 16. Okay? She's 16. Don't mess with the home dog. Anyways, she decided she was going to join me today for my first tutorial of 2015. Yeah. Because as you guys have noticed, I've been gone for a little bit, but we are finally settled into the new place. Well, we're getting there. We still need some furniture and stuff, but, you know, I figured it's a pretty good time to get started on stuff. So, um, I thought that a great first video would be a uh, using the color of the year. If you guys don't know, um, Pantone, what it's called? Pantone, every year comes out with a color of the year. And if you don't know what Pantone is, um, it's an incorporation who, they um, are kind of like the king of color or whatever. Like, they're all about, um, like, home decor and stuff like that and how to make your, you know, they you go onto their site, they've got furniture and everything, and they always have a color of the year. Last year, I think it was orchid. It was like a purple color. Um, and this year, they've come out with Marsala, which is kind of like this color behind it, behind me. Um, and so we decided we'd do a makeup look based on the color of the year. So um, 2015, Marsala, you're going to see the color everywhere, um, especially in drugstores and like high end. Sephora came out with like a whole collection of Marsala. Um, they do that every year. Every time Pantone announces the color of the year, they come out with a whole kit. So, um, but we thought we'd give you two different makeup options, right? Yes. Um, I went with like a more daytime appropriate look, um, doing a really simple eye with the Marsala in the crease and some like Marsala, like Marsala maroony colored mascara on the bottom and then bold lips, um, that are Marsala colored. Um, and Sydney, you go ahead and tell them what you decided to do. Um, I did more of a Marsala smoky eye for like nighttime. You can make this look as bold or as not bold as you want, but mm -hmm. I decided since she was doing more of a day look, I would do more of a night look. So I made a very bold Marsala eye cover for you. Yep. So. And you don't have to wear these like day or night. You know, yeah. If you decide you want to do the smoky eye during the day, rock the smoky eye during the day. If you decide this is too bold, like the lips are too bold during the day, you know, you could change it up. You can only do the color on the eye and do a new lip if you want. I mean, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. For me, I would rock this day, night, doesn't matter. I'd rock the smoky eye day or night, you know. Yeah. Makeup has no rules. Cool. Yeah. Makeup has no rules. So. No. But. You can be looking fly all day. Yeah. With yep. your Marsala colors. Yeah. So, like I said, you're going to be seeing this color everywhere. Um, it's not, like, a color you're not going to be able to get your hands on. You're going to see lots of, like, it's furniture, you yeah. know, furniture statement pieces in this color. So, I love this color. It's I one of my it's favorite really colors. Pretty. For makeup, it's an awesome color. I love a wine color. It's yeah. It's so pretty. And I love wine, but, you know. I'm totally can't talk about that. <laughs> yeah. I can't. She can't. She can't. She can't. But. <laughs> I've never tried wine. Nope. Anyways, here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so we hope you enjoy the video. Yeah. You know, um, it's gonna be a little long. We apologize for that, but we I've never done you know like a two person yeah. tutorial. Um, so just bear with us. It's a talk through. It's kind of fun. Get ready, chit chat. You know, cool. yeah. So and let us know. You know, if you want to see any more yeah. videos with Sydney and. Um, I'll bring her back. I think we're going to start her, her own channel so that she can do some videos that are, like, geared towards more of her audience. We've got a seven-year age gap, so. Yeah, more yeah. age-appropriate. She knows, yeah, she's she's up with the trends with her age, and I'll just keep, you know, in my age group. <laughs> but, all right, well, please like this video if, if you liked it. Um, I'd like to see us get to at least like a hundred likes this time please I hope so. so and share this video please just share just share Facebook friends yes share my videos 
Hi, mom. So I, just, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, mom, share the video. Yes, mom, just share the video. She's um, like, look at my children. <laughs> so it, the more you share, the more of an audience we can gain and the more people we can reach with our mm-hmm. makeup knowledge. It's kind of learned, yes. you know. So, um, But thank you again for watching, and we hope you enjoy. So let's get to the tutorial. Thanks guys. First we're gonna start off by priming our eyelids. It's important to prime your eyes before you put on the eyeshadow because it makes it last all day and it makes your eyeshadows more vibrant. So I'm gonna use the MAC paint pot, right? Yep, in soft ochre. That's what I'm using to prime my eyelids. And I'm going to use MAC for longer concealer. All right, so we're going to just go ahead and prime your lids. Okay, what are you going to use first? Um, I'm going to start with a just a tapered bit blending brush, and I'm going to go in with Peach Smoothie and run that all over Show my that crease. So they can see. Oh, it's yes. kind of like a peachy tan. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be basically focusing on these colors right here. Don't like I will be using all the colors except for that blue color right there. Um, but I'm going to start with this one. Alright, and since my look is a little bit more simple, I'm just going to go in with the Warm Taupe from the Maya Mia palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and put that in the crease and just rock that in the socket. Don't, uh, you don't want to get it too far up, um, just put it lightly in there. The great thing about these fluffy brushes is they don't put too much product on there, so you can go back and add more and you don't have too much applied at like right off the bat so yeah it's good to have clean lines and just to keep going in and building it up because if you just go in you're like whoop and you got like so much color on there it's a lot harder to get off than to keep adding yeah easier to add than take away yes ma'am now you just putting that color in your crease yeah this step is totally optional but this really helps set a base for um, the, sh the darker shadows that we're going to be going in with to um, w in our crease because this is really helps with the transition and keeping soft smooth lines mm -hmm. in. I use my um, eyeshadow brush it's just a regular brush to pack on color on your lids and I'm just going to take this nude color it's real basic doesn't have any shimmer in it um, kind of a, a neutral skin tone color I'm just going to put that all over the eyelid. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with a more dense blending brush. And I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee and get that right in the crease. We don't want to get too messy with this. We want to get a little precise and get in there. Just remember to keep adding the color. Just start light and then just keep adding on color. But we want a pretty defined crease. Yeah. Alright, and then I'm going to take this reddish color called Sienna. And I'm going to take just a crease brush, see how it's like skinnier on the side when I turn it. You can see that's more flat. It's got like that pinch at the middle of it or whatever at the top here where the metal meets. But then it's still fluffy on the ends. That helps kind of concentrate it a little bit better in your crease. I'm just going to very lightly go in and just build this up until I'm satisfied with the color. Okay, so now that I got all the creme brulee in the crease that I want, I'm gonna go in with the same brush and go in with makeup, uh, makeup geek, makeup geeks chickadee. It's a very orangey yellow color. You gotta be very careful with this color because it's very pigmented. But we just want to use it just for a little bit more dimension, and it's really gonna go great with the marsala color that we're gonna be putting on our lips. So just take the same brush and then just slightly put it in your crease, not too much, just a little bit. Drake and our Wonderful tea from our mug. Well, yeah, my Aunt Kim nice. gave me these mugs when she moved to Washington, which we really miss you guys. Come back, Come please. Back. <laughs> Especially when you have like little six month old babies yeah. that I really want to hold. I would really like to hold them. <laughs> and you're not here for me to hold them. But show them your mug again. Aren't these beautiful? Oh, Look okay. at the patterns on them. They're cool. They're I really love them. Love I them really like tea. the vibrant yellow, too. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, now, again, with the same brush, I'm trying to make it easy here. The same brush, we're going to go in 
with this shade from Makeup Geek called Bitten. It's a really pretty, like, plum Marsala shade. It's just perfect for this look. And we're going to start by barely putting any on our brush. Starting, we're going to focus it in the out, outer corner and then drag it in on the entire eye. And we're, I'm going to make, in my, like for me, I'm going to make it super smoky and super bold. But you don't have to do that. You can just start in the corner, drag it in, make it as light or as bold as you want. So. Right. But you're doing like a, a night look, so you're going super bold. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and I'm just going to take a clean fluffy brush and just blend any edges out. Just go over that real quick, just to make sure there aren't any seams. And then I'm going to go back in with my um, eyeshadow brush the, that packs on the color and just put that nude color back on just to brighten up the lid just a little bit and clean it up. Um, I'm going to just take this vanilla shade, which has got some shimmer in it. Um, and it's great for an, a brow highlight. I love using this color for that. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead, I'm already done with my eye look. I told you it was going to be super simple. I'm just going to go ahead and line. I'm going to do a winged liner. Um, and I'm not going to wing it out like too dramatic because this is a day look. But I'm going to use my Physicians Formula um, Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner Plus Serum. So what I'm doing now is I'm going back in with the fluffy brush and the creme brulee shade from Makeup Geek. And I'm very, very softly blending the lid shade into the crease shades, just to make sure that it's not so bold and intense in the crease. We just really want to blend it out. With a smoky eye, you really have to have patience with blending and then adding, blending, adding, blending, adding. It's going to take a while, but you just have to have patience and not put too much elbow grease into it. Just light, circular, real quick motions so you don't over blend or whatever so so I ran out of my just regular coal eyeliner so I was actually lucky and found this in the bottom of my drawer it is a Maybelline velvet black eyeliner and what I'm going to do with it is just go into my waterline and tight line my eye just the upper part of the, the yeah all right now I'm going to go ahead and put my blush on it looks very bright. Well, I guess, yeah, it looks kind of bright on here. It's called Peaches, but this is by NYX. I find that the NYX, like, some of the NYX names for their colors aren't always, like, consistent with the actual color. How is that Peaches? I don't get it. I mean, it's, it's more red. So I feel like it's got more red undertones, so it's going to kind of go with on the low color a little bit better. I'm just going to take this and put this on the apples of my cheeks. I'm not going to go too crazy because we're going to do a bold lip. So, I use my Tabor Highlighting Brush from Sigma, and I'm using Mary Luminizer from the bomb. It's a very pretty, like, uh, pale champagne color highlight. It's beautiful, but you have to use a very little bit, or it'll go crazy. Yes, it'll get cray-cray. Like, literally, that's all I need on there. Tap, tap. I'm going to go in with the Kelly Osborne like, line from MAC in this shade cheeky booger like how do you <laughs> I don't know. she's from england cheeky booger i don't know Let's call it cheeky booger cheeky booger oh kind of runs in here kind of oh you just saw my awful pants you won't be seeing that because i'm not going to get out there i'm going in with a short handed bare minerals flawless paste brush oh. and just to apply this blush my hips are hurting Okay. <laughs> My butt is hurting. I'm going to put a layer of mascara on because I'm putting falsies on. I'm going to use the Demi Wispies. I think these are the Ardell Demi Wispies. Yes, they are. Well, that's Ardell packaging. Swan Perfect makes these this packaging too now. It does? Yeah, it's the same because they have a four pack too. Oh. But I'm pretty sure this is my Ardell ones. Like, the, salon with, the Salon Perfect ones are just as good from Walmart, by the way. I'm going back in with a clean brush just to kind of not make the uh the uh, blush so intense. Very ever so slightly. Okay, and now I'm also going in with my hourglass highlighter and I will be going in maybe 
yep, with a Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush, F35 brush. Just kind of, you know, like so. Very, very, very light handed with that bitten shade, with that nice plum shade. And we are going to ever so slightly just put it on the outer corners of our bottom lash. Do not bring this look all the way in unless you are like intense under eye person. Me, I can't do it. Ah, uh, you could pull it off. That's something you could add too, which would be different. Okay, so now that I'm done putting on my false lashes, I'm going to take this really cool, it's great lash mascara, it's colored, and it goes with the theme. It's like a maroon color. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to put it on my bottom lashes. Why you all? It's going to be like a cool little pop of color. Do it again, Tony. <laughs> okay, that's on my bottom lashes. You can't really see it. You can see a little bit of a tint. You're almost out, huh? I am. I need more. I use it all the time. All right, and now we're going to go in with a big part of my look, the lips. I'm going to be using Lime Crime Wicked Velveteen. This stuff is very, very drying. It's matte. Um, but if you don't want to go with like this bold of a lip, you want to do a little bit something more simple, um, there's a Revlon gloss, what is it called? In Bordeaux. Looks like this. It's a little bit more sheer once you put it on. It's not as crazy. And it's glossy if you don't feel comfortable with the mattes. But I'm going to um, line my lips before I put on my velveteen because, yeah. You just straight your face. I did, and I just opened my eye, too. <laughs> because if you line your lips, it's a lot easier to put on these Lime Crime velveteens. So, mm -hmm. oh, here. I'll zoom in here so you can see it. Okay, so I ended up putting Please Me On over the angel because I thought the angel was just a little bit too light. And then I ended up setting my face with some Fix Plus. And your look is done. It's very pretty. Complete. This camera does this look no justice, I promise you. We'll take some pictures <sighs> and insert them here so you can see them. Yep. Be looking, be looking like a supermodel. <laughs> I promise I'm a better singer. I may still cry. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, now that my lips are lined and I look like a gangster, I'm going to go ahead. It'll make it easier when you go in with this because the Lime Crime Velatines are very liquidy and can be very hard to work with. They're so. awesome, though. They are great. You just have to be super, super careful. My hips hurt. My back hurts. Like, my lower back. It's like, girl. <sighs> okay. So, lips are done. It'll take about mm, like another couple minutes for it completely dry to matte. Mm -hmm. But, it's a beautiful color. It's a lot more red on camera. There's a lot more red. It's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit darker in mm -hmm. person. But, yeah, it's more of a wine red mm -hmm. shade in person than what it's at. Where opposed to that is more red. Yes. So. But you can, and part of that is because it's shiny too, once it dries a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, this is definitely something you could wear every day. If you, I mean, if it's too bold for you, like I said, you could go with the gloss. It's a little bit more sheer. There's also a lot of other colors. You will see this color everywhere with cosmetics, even in the drugstores. You'll see it everywhere. So it won't be hard to find something that's going to suit your needs. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. okay. Maybe have some awesome lipsticks that really fit a Marsala color. So mm -hmm. Definitely. there's like a whole variety of dark shades there. And color, a cover girl does too. Yep. I mean, the, the drugstore industry, the makeup industry is stepping up their game. Yes, really. So they're really coming out with some good yeah. stuff. But. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I think we're done. I think we are. Finally, I after are fine. 39 minutes and 40 seconds. 59 minutes and 40 seconds? It's been an hour. Yeah. Well, and I'm moving this. And we still have so many connections. We do, but thank you guys for watching us. Sorry yeah. for the long video, but we'll edit it down. So hopefully it's not too long for you, but... Yeah. Let me know in the comments of any other requests you have. If you want to see any more tutori tutorials with Sydney, let us know. I think we're going to start her her own channel, too, so that way she can make yeah. them for you. Um, and hers will be a little bit more geared towards people if you like your I'm your still age. in high school, so it's like yeah. more everyday looks, yeah. probably. So. so thank you. Bye. Yeah. I fell on the floor. Oh, crap. I didn't break it. My three-year-old tornado broke it but it's okay so i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out real quick you know whenever you see like makeup falling towards the ground you're like no no but it's like slow motion it's not my baby <laughs> <laughs> okay i just went in and contoured so this may be a little confusing for people contouring don't is hurt yourself 